Hi, I'm Ronald Jorgensen, and I wrote this poem to Barack Obama on his birthday, August 4th. In case you don't get all the words, there will be a printed list, a description at the end when I'm done, for any words you might not be so familiar with, and also the lines of the poem. And I'll tell them to you, too. Barack Obama, 848. Your cycle of life at 47 today is not a wheel, but more a gyre ring, larger and higher to summit a destiny where I'm convinced you'll stand. Difficult as bringing the butter back that spread on toast, or salvaging Sisyphus' strain to victory. But I see your soul in most of what you do, and watch to join it, surfacing in all. So then for us, a choice of a lifetime beckons, dense with hope of E pluribus unum, and choir of a country's sentient energy departing the past and the next future ready. For you, the long provocativity to ripen gifts greater than memory has shown, golden arrival of servitude laid at a nation's aching infinite feet. Thank you. Now that description, in case you missed some words, First, gyring is, comes from the word gyre, and it just means to circle larger and larger circles, like an eagle rising to the sky. Sisyphus is the name of a Greek person who kept rolling a big rock up a hill, and it just kept rolling back down again. He could never get it to stay. Written on a ribbon in the beak of an eagle on the back of a dollar bill, is a phrase, e pluribus unum, which translates to mean, from many, one. Sentient, S-E-N-T-I-E-N-T, -E -E just means to sense, to feel, to be aware. Provocativity is simply a state of being provoked. And I have to give credit to a man named Natarajan from India for the image of the butter on toast and also to the mother of Sri Aurobindo Ashram for the next future. So now you can see the printed explanation in case you didn't get it from me orally, and also the lines of the poem. Thank you and goodbye.